What's going on guys? Today I have a fisheye lens for your iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S. Let's get straight to the content. You have your fisheye lens and then you have a bunch of accessories that come with it. Uh, first you have your little keychain attachment that you can uh, attach to the lens and attach your keys. You have your lens cap and then you have your instructions in all multiple different languages. This package also includes three little rings, magnetic rings, to attach to the back of your phone's camera. Uh, two of which have a little indent for the flash and one without it. Um, like I said before, there's a bunch of instructions, but I don't really like reading instructions, so I'll just put it to the side. But you can definitely read it if you'd like. Now, this is my iPhone 4. The fisheye is also compatible with the iPhone 4S, iPad Nano 5G, iPod Touch 4G, and iPad 2. Now, as far as attaching the little ring to your phone, make sure it's attached directly to the back of your phone and not over a screen protector or block in any case. Um, all you have to do is make sure you use the ring if you're using it for the back of the iPhone 4 the ring that has the little indent to prevent blocking the flash. Um, just put it on there and that's pretty much it. The fisheye lens has a permanent magnet on the back that helps you attach to the phone and this is how it attaches straight through magnet. Now make sure when you attach it to the phone you center it right in the middle just to prevent getting more uh, fisheye borders, I'll explain later, uh, around it. Now this is what it looks like. Um, obviously it's not meant to be permanent, that's why you have magnets. Um, but let me just show you footage of how it would look. Now this is what it would look like if you have if you were to be taking a picture and you had the fisheye lens attached to it. Now I'm going to remove the lens and you'll see the huge difference. It's just a super super wide angle uh, effect that it gives it, and it's just it's tremendous. Um, as you can see on the sides, it has borders. I'm not really too much of a fan, so in order to get rid of that, you just zoom in just enough to get rid of those borders, and you'll still see that it still gives you a huge difference. If I remove the lens, as you see right here. <laughs> definitely big difference and then you put the lens back on now guys you can definitely get some awesome shots with this it's just incredible what you can do with a fisheye now as far as video goes this is what the footage looks like with the lens on but if I were to take the lens off you automatically see the huge huge difference um, but this is definitely an awesome attachment an awesome accessory to have for your iPhone 4 um, I just I would recommend it to anybody really especially if you're into photography like I am or any type of videography but I'm going to show you exactly how much space you have I want to put the Mini Cooper at the end of the iPhone just a regular iPhone's lens and if I add the attachment lens you see all the space on the bottom that you get and the same thing goes for the side if I were to remove and put the um, car at the end just to the side you see that's where it would end but if I attach the lens it's just it's almost ridiculous how much more space you get guys but anyway guys, if you're interested in getting this lens or even the wide angle lens I did review on last week, just click the link in the description, it'll direct you to my website, and I have more information on there so you can read and uh, get more information on this lens. Anyway guys, this is it for the video, I hope you like it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Well guys, like always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, and you can add me on Facebook or you can follow me on Twitter. Until next video guys, peace.